How many of you watching this video actually use a strong password? By strong password, I mean a password that is truly unique and unguessable. In other words, a password that does not contain any general publicly available information about you, like your name, your phone number, your spouse name, pet name, etc. And how many of you never use the same password for multiple websites? Also, how many of you constantly keep checking if your personal details like your credentials have been exposed in data breaches? Well, if you follow all these measures strictly, feel free to skip this video. But if you're not, then please do watch this video. It is very important. Let's say your name is Chandler Bing and your wife's name is Monica Geller. You're known for your sarcasm. You work in an IT company as a procurement manager with specialization in statistical analysis and data reconfiguration. Although no one cares about your job, you like to hang out with your friends at a coffee house named Central Perk. You might use a password like this. Notice here that your password is completely guessable. It is formed with publicly accessible information about you, like your name and your wife's name and your favorite thing, which means your password is not a secret in the first place. Anyone who knows your name and your wife's name technically knows your password too. There are actually many password guessing softwares to guess passwords based on a target's public information. For example, let's take a look at Common Users Passwords Profiler, short for CUP. CUP is written in Python to generate target-specific word lists, or in other words, password lists. Try filling out an interactive questionnaire in CUP with your data and see the generated list of passwords if your password appears in it. Well, if your password doesn't appear in the first try, but it does contain some publicly accessible information about you, it's because you're not using CUP in a right way. You can reconfigure it and keep trying to generate more password lists, which may eventually contain your potential password. Most of the security incidents on the internet occur due to weak passwords that are easily guessable. I mean, your social media profiles alone would in most cases give away a lot of your data, which you might have used to frame a password. So how difficult do you think it is for hackers to guess a password? I mean, to just use a password guessing software to guess a password based on your public information. What makes it even more worse is if you're using the same password for multiple websites. So if someone figures out what your password is on one website, they can use the same password on all the other websites too. You just made things easy for the hacker. You say you're not the type of person who uses weak password that contain your public info. And does that make you safe? Well, think again. Your credentials might have already been leaked online through data breaches. A data breach is when hackers manage to get access to a website's database and steal all the data. They may later sell this stolen data on the dark web or simply make it available for free. If you happen to be the user of a website that got breached, it means even your data that you put in that particular website is included in the breach. This data may contain your username, password, phone number, email ID, and other crucial assets. To check if any of your data is included in any of the breaches that occurred until now, you can go to haveibeenpooned.com and just enter your email address. This will tell you where and how many times your data associated with that email is leaked and what type of data is leaked. You can further search for PuneDB on Google and using this web interface, you can even see your plain text password that is leaked in a data breach. If you happen to be a victim in a breach, the first thing you need to do is obviously change your password on all the websites where you're using the leaked password. However, new data breaches are leaked on the internet very often. And the best way to stay updated and get notified whenever your data is included in new leaks is to use Firefox Monitor. It is maintained by Mozilla and you can simply sign up and every time a breach that contains any data that is associated with your email is leaked on the internet, you will get notified. So the lesson learned so far, your password, which you think is very much of a secret might actually not be a secret at all. In this video, I tried to emphasize on the fact that it is very easy for hackers to get their hands on your password. So what are the best practices to keep your password safe and protect yourselves online? Well, the best way would be to use a password manager. By using a password manager, you can generate a strong random password for each website you use, and you don't even have to remember this password. You just have to remember your master password, which you use to unlock all your other passwords on your password manager. But you might ask, what if my master password is exposed? 
Well, it's your job to keep your master password safe. Do not form your master password with your public information. Use some random alphanumeric strings along with some special characters that make no sense so that it is very hard for hackers to guess your password. Buy hard this master password so that you do not forget it and do not save it anywhere on your computer or on the internet. Just let it be in your head, in your own memory. And ladies and gentlemen, this is in fact the best way to use passwords and make sure that your passwords are never leaked or guessed. Also make sure you use two-factor authentication wherever you can so that even if someone has your password, they won't be able to get in unless they enter that special one-time password that is sent to your email address or to your mobile number. But most importantly, do not use the same password on multiple websites. So thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new. If you do like this video, do not forget to leave a thumbs up below. Let's try to reach at least well, maybe let's say 2000 likes for this video. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please do hit the subscribe button now and also turn on the bell icon to get instant updates from my channel. So I'll see you in the next video, I guess. Until then, cheers.